Hello everyone, I am back after months of not being around um, for another review video. So <clears throat> the last five months I've been so busy, I have moved out of my house um, and I have not really been had time to review anything new. And also throughout the summer, David C didn't really release anything like amazing or new. So I am back with, I have a lot of reviews that are going to be coming out such as the Pear Matcha, I have some newer holiday teas that are supposed to be released that I'm going to be getting and uh, just a few others. So stay tuned for those. It has been a long time since I have recorded or filmed a review video. Another thing is that I've kind of just like steered away from David's Tea, I guess. It's just their prices are just way too expensive and I've just been kind of looking elsewhere. I've been looking at other matchas as well. I've really gotten into the traditional just Japanese straight matchas. Uh, it's kind of blowing up on TikTok and everyone's going insane. Apparently they've like sold out of like, they can't produce any more tea leaves from the matcha to like be made for the rest of the year. I, there's like a shortage or something. So um, anyways, but today we're going to be reviewing David's Tea's Toasted Marshmallow Matcha. So this matcha is new i think it's 10.98 per 50 gram uh it smells kind of like it does smell like marshmallowy i guess you could say um yeah this tiny little bag which by the way they're if you're making a latte with david's tea's matcha um you only get so i use two of these for the David's Tea Matcha for a latte, just because of how much sugar is in it and there's not a lot of matcha. And I just put two of those perfect spoons in and I only have like, like that much left. You can't really see it, but yeah, it's like barely anything. Also this, before I even begin, I bought a tea bar, which I have shared on the group on Facebook, but I'll show you guys kind of like a bigger little thing. So that's what it looks like. It's like, I got it for, off of Wayfair and that's like my stool I'm sitting in, so don't mind that. Um, but yeah, it kind of just has like, I have my honey. I have this little thing that was an ornament from Walmart that kind of went with the theme. Um, I have my sugar-free uh, like cocktail mix syrup just cause I like that with my diet and all. I have a, holly, have a Holly Jolly Christmas with these cute little reindeer that really go with the theme. And then over here I have some rock sugar, which I don't use. Um, but someone else can and then I have this that keeps falling down. It says all you need is tea It was one of David's teas like Spring releases. This is full of like cleaners and straws and glass straws I found this ornament at Walmart. It says friends mean so matcha and it has a cute little design thing. I have my uh, Breville kettle which is like the digital one This just has like my sharpie marker for my cold brews and then like spoon sifters cute little nutcracker. I have all of like the everyday mugs that I use kind of just hanging out there. I have this cute Merry and Bright sign. Um, this I'm making into a latte. This is Candy Cane by Bird and Blend. I'm making that after my review. I got my milk ready too. Um, I have my frother, these cute little deer. Down here they have like sliding doors. I have my Bird and Blend down there and just some random tins. Uh, those are extra bags and just like my other matchas, because I don't really have space for those. And then I have like my lid for my frother. I have my bowls, my, that's an extra pump. This is like the thing that I got when my one dog passed away. I didn't know where to put it. So I was like, okay. I got some like clear lids down there. And then on this side, I just have my cold brew jars, rock sugar. Those are WEC uh, jars I like to use for my matcha. These are like, this is like the traditional matcha I was telling you guys about. Um, and then I'll show you actually, I'll go in my fridge here. So these are the matches I'm talking about. Like you've probably seen them. They've been going viral. Uh, there's that one. This one, my girlfriend actually got for me in Japan, but this one's really popular. And then I have like this huge one. So yeah, these are like selling out everywhere. They don't have, and this is just like a traditional matcha. Like there's no flavoring, no sweeteners, no nothing. And it's just a nice change. I do like it. So yeah and then i will show you guys kind of like my mug wall i moved my mug wall my tins so they're kind of like here um yeah it's a little dark in here but i got that kind of all sorted out there 
me put this back in place. All right, so let's get on with this review. All right, so um, the ingredients in this one are cane sugar, matcha green tea, and marshmallow flavoring. It's all organic. So um, I just made it into an iced latte. It, like, look, even the color, like, if I show you guys, sorry, I know you guys are probably like, just get on with the review. Like, if I put this like side by side, look at the color, look at how vibrant green this one is. This is one of the um, Japanese matches I showed you. And then look at this one, like no color at all. I actually think that David's Tea's coloring has gotten even worse, their matches. Look how it's like not even green. It's like a, yeah, their colorings have gotten so much worse. And they're putting so much more additives and sugar in it just so that they can make a few extra dollars and not spend money on matcha. That's what they're doing. So if you guys wanna, I actually haven't drank in a, David's, a new David's Tea matcha in five or six months. So this is very, new to me so i'm gonna give it a try mm. oh it's weird it tastes like uh doesn't really taste marshmallow it tastes like um like a like a yogurt that has gone bad hmm Yeah, mm, not good. This one's very weird. Kind of tastes like, it tastes like something I know, but I can't put my finger on it. Like a, it's like a cakey, fake dessert. I don't know what it is. It's, it's not super sweet. It just has like a weird plasticky marshmallow flavor, like a fake artificial, oh, I can't put my tongue on it. What is it? It's like a flavor that I've had before, or like something that I've had before that like is reminiscent of this. Yeah, I can't put my tongue on it. Kind of tastes like a, even like a bad licorice. Like it's like, um, has like an anise or anise or however you say it, like a kind of like that weird flavor. I don't know what it is, but you know, I heard a lot of people not liking this one. So it's a good thing I tried it. Um, I only got 50 grams. I'm probably just never going to buy this again. I have completely steered clear of David's Tea's matches. Now even seeing this, this is like, this color, David's Tea's matches were never this light. So that just kind of proves to me that they've really gotten cheap with their ingredients. And it's just, it's just not good. And $11 for one drink, like, I'm sorry, but... Anyways, um, I'm not a fan. If you guys want to try it, it's 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 tastes like a weird, like licorice, marshmallow, plastic kind of flavor. I don't know. I can't really describe it, but I would not recommend this one. Um, it is available online for ten ninety eight if you want to spend that much. But uh, yeah, if you guys have tried this uh, matcha, let me know what you think, and stay tuned for more reviews. I have pear matcha coming up. I have Nutcracker Brittle coming up. Apparently Candy Cane Crush and Santa Secret, Santa Secret, bleh, I can't talk. Santa Secret was reformulated back to their, not back to their original, but like as close as they can get. So I'm gonna try those and I'm hoping, I'm praying that it's the same or at least somewhat the same, just because like that was shitty of them to, you know, completely change it without saying anything to anyone and then also updating the reviews to their old reviews so that people are like oh my god it's the same one no it's not so i hope you guys enjoyed this long review and kind of half tour of my new place but i hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you guys so much for watching